Where are you hiding from your money? Most women are afraid to look at their finances and they're hiding from their money. You might think it's less painful to ignore it so you don't have to look at what you owe, what you have in the bank, or what you've saved because you're afraid of running out of money or you might not be able to get yourself out of debt. My name is Cheryl Barr and I'm the founder of Smart Women Make Money, an online program that helps women remove their negative money beliefs so that they can earn and manifest more money. So today I'm going to share with you one tool that will literally transform your life. I'm going to share my own financial tolerations and what I did to change it. One of the biggest tolerations I lived with for many years was not having a budget. My husband for years really wanted us to have a budget, but I thought, well, hey, we're making really good money. We are fine. We don't need a budget. But now that we're in our retirement years, we're on a fixed income. And it's so important to have a budget because you want to use this budget to cut away things that you really don't need that might just be habits like Starbucks or things like that that are really going to eat up your money and could cost you like up to $2,000 a year. For example, in our house, we love travel. So that's a high value for us, adventure and travel. My husband is fantastic at using airline mileage, getting Hilton and Starwood points so that we can stay in Europe or wherever we travel, we can go and stay free like we just did with our trip to Italy and Greece. We probably saved half of what we would spend on a big trip like that. We spend our money on what we value, so it's super important that we have this budget now. Creating a budget at this time in our financial life is super important so we can stretch that money out as, as long as we're going to live. And in my case, it's kind of scary because the women in my family have lived well into their 90s, and my grandmother lived to be 101. So we are cutting out what we don't need or want, and we're budgeting around the things we value. And it is a painful thing to cut, yet we want to travel. So we're so willing to do what we need to do to make that happen. So the second toleration we had was updating our will. We put this off because we got busy, we forgot about it, and lo and behold, 10 years later, we had a very old, outdated will. I'm happy to say that we actually finished working on that toleration, we now have a will. So what is a toleration? A toleration is any kind of situation that you allow to exist or that you put up with, or it's just less than ideal. What I'm going to share in this video today, you can use anywhere in your life. You can use it at home. What are you tolerating? What are you tolerating in your business? What are you tolerating at work? This one tool will change your life. You put up with these things every day and they distract you from focusing on the important goals you have in your life. You might be tolerating a messy desk where you pay your bills or you take care of your finances. You might be tolerating a lot of debt and you're not acting or researching ways to consolidate it or figure out a payment plan. And there are people in your community that can help you with this. So just do a Google search and see what, what you can find if you have a lot of debt. You also might be tolerating not saving money and telling yourself that there's no way you can do that. I want to tell you, I think there's always a way. I hear that toleration and I don't believe it. When you remove a toleration, you're freeing up your time and your energy to focus on what you want in your life, and in this case, it's more money. Things you're tolerating can literally drain your energy on a daily basis. So I'm going to tell you now how to remove your financial tolerations. I want you to make a list of 10 tolerations you have in your life. It could be something like, are you not looking at your online accounts? Are you not reconciling your accounts? Do you look at what you owe? Do you have a plan to reduce it? Do you have investments but you don't look at them? Are you tolerating a messy desk where you pay your bills? 
Do you have a big picture plan? Do you have a will? Do you have a retirement plan? I see so many women that are just paralyzed with fear about running out of money. And I'm going to talk about that in an upcoming blog. Now you've listed your 10 tolerations. Now I want you to prioritize those. And I want you to pick your top three. And you're going to work on those top three in the next 90 days. So the most important thing you can do is start looking because women are like ostriches with their head in the sand. They don't look because they're too afraid. But I can tell you that you're going to create more anxiety in your body when you don't look than if you look. It might not feel good and it might be painful the first time, but trust me, it gets easier and easier. And women Data is our friend. That is power. That's how we can act and make decisions is when we have the data. We can't do anything without that. So that's a really important toleration. Are you looking? So now you've got your top three tolerations. Next thing I want you to do is pick the first one you're going to work on. After your top three tolerations, then you make an action plan. Very simple. What actions are you going to take to let go of these tolerations in the next 90 days. Then you have an action for number one, an action for number two, and an action plan for number three. And these are just short bullets of things you're gonna do. And start on number one, because that's gonna be your most important one. It's time for women to stop having less, stop earning less, and stop settling for less. And it's time for you to make more money. And I want you to be smart about it. I would love to hear what you found as your tolerations. This interests me. So please leave your comments below. And I'd love to hear from you. Here's to you earning and making more money.